Hello and welcome everybody. We're here. We're back. Hello, Danny. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, yesterday we visited four bases as part of the Distant World Tours, which was Mr. Fishhead, Blazing Fire, and uh, Trophy Sex. He's at the top of the list, and for some reason I started reading at the bottom of the list. So, that was fun. So yes, <coughs> I need a drink. I'll get, I'll grab a drink, and then I'll get into the explanation of what we're doing. And that's not a can of beer. Actually, it's a can of cherry today. I'm mixing it up. Are you all drinked up there and ready? Yep. <laughs> Good. So, and I've just received a message. That's real bad timing. Uh, <laughs> we are back in the on the same planet to have a look at the other four bases. This one, yes, might load slowly. Sorry, we'll get onto that in a minute. So, if Saron had a Chimerian architect by J Slax and Slax is um yeah part of the D D do I god I you know it's only three letters how can I fuck that up? Um that you're kidding now I, oh, I've got to let this settle. That another volcano base, which is fun. But oh, the chains have gone. I think we're too far away. I think that's what it is. I think we're too far away. Um Right, I'm, go I'm going in. I'm going in. And let's see if we can get some of the base to load. So, this is very bright. Looking down on the ooh, thing. So, yeah. Another volcano base. It's obviously a max build. Um, <laughs> considering he's even gone and put a, a warning notice on it. Which I think is quite funny. It's really changed the colours. A lot. There's a lot of stairs in here. What the fuck's causing that glow? Try not to get burnt by my god, you need sun factor ten million walking around this place. Is that a, that is actually a piece of glass? Thanks God for that. Right. Ah, now I can see a piece of one of the chains that he's done. It, I, there was, I, I must point out, there was part of... Um, tell you what, I'll go into camera mode. There, there was uh, some trees looping round and other pieces that came off these chain points and down. Uh, but, of course, in true No Man's Sky style, it's decided that it's not going to actually show us the pieces that come onto the chains, which is a bit of a shame, because otherwise it looks like we've got chains sticking out into the middle of nowhere. And he's made the Eye of Saruman at the top, which that wasn't showing earlier, but now it is. When you fly past, you only see the blue light down. You hiding down in there somewhere? Oh, he's actually used hex bushes. That's cool. You like the pretty lights when you get up there. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Mind your steps, some of the floors disappear. I take it you're still eating. <laughs> Since you keep muting. Believe it or not, I feel like I said keep muting. I just muted once and tried to do it. I've been responding and everything. Uh, why is he not listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, 
simple reason. I, <laughs> I was all the way up there getting a good angle on it. Yeah, it's, uh, the, like I say, a lot of stairs. Because this building is just so big. And the, I think that's what is causing part of the render issue. Because you need to be a long way to see it. But unfortunately, this game has a habit of not playing well with distance. Right, I'm on... Ah, right, I'm on the top platform. I do like the... It's almost like a cobra head design with the... <laughs> ah, he's, he's used the dual base uh, part um, changer. Because cool. on the top here, where he's resting the skulls, which are normally sized, because you can make them big and that's probably about as big as they are normal size, but it's resting on top of a short wall. And the short wall, well, I mean, if you, I mean, I, I know I can't build here, so I can't, I can't demonstrate it, but it's on end. And you, I mean, you can almost walk between the, the pieces of stuff. That, that thing, that thing is huge. I mean, see, how big can you make the short wall? The short wall half width under normal expansion, you can make it about three times taller than I am or a little bit more than that but because and this goes all the way down to there so yeah he's definitely used the base extension bit because it goes all the way to the floor below and he's managed to lock it on perfectly which is nice right can I if I if, if I can try to go into uh, fuck if I can go into uh, <laughs> camera mode again and oh I've just hit something pull round I mean there's a lot a of, lot a lot of detail he's put into this I just wish the other pieces would show but there's some CS and these big pieces here are short walls as well it's amazing what you can do when you can upscale them that is really cool One thing I haven't I haven't actually used the dual base extension bit yet, but I'm going to. It seems like a great idea. Well, I mean, he, he's used multiple sizes of walls to make the like the, for want of a better term, the cobra head extension that he's done. Mm -hmm. And then the outside pieces. And the bits that go down into the volcano are like massive. I mean, it's like the biodome. You, you can make the biodome absolutely ridiculously huge if you uh, use the dual base extension bit. That is balmy. I mean, w one cuboid room, if you had a cuboid room and you max built it, you could make it um because if you take a floor panel and you enlarge it normally it could be th it, one floor panel takes up the space of nine so it's basically three times the size wow. and i think by doing the double base extension you can do the same so that means it goes from uh covering a three by three grid to a nine by nine grid. So if you can imagine doing that with a cuboid room or something like that, one part gives you a massive, you know, you, you can, you can make really huge builds. And when you do all the complex bits as well, that, that's, yeah. uh, Right, that's interesting. I thought that is part of a... He's got a village terminal. Yeah. A settlement to, uh, terminal, rather. 
Settlement Hub Interface. Yeah. 199 citizens. Population, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's glitched. That is... <laughs> that's majorly glitched because it's been dropped in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? Uh, I probably shouldn't have clicked on that. What did you click? I clicked the little terminal piece that's next to us, and, um, yeah, that's fucked. Okay, so uh, we're going to end up having to make this a two-piece show. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. It was a bit, if this was the last place I'd come to, it would be all right, because obviously, you know. So, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, people. See you in 